this WordPress tutorial, we will be creating a header with the full site editor. You need WordPress 5.9 installed and you need a theme that has full site editing. If you have appearance and you have the editor here, then you're good to go. If you need a theme, the one that I used in my latest tutorial is very nice. Um, it comes with all elements of your site that you can edit in Gutenberg. That will be in the video description if you are interested in this theme. It's ONA, O-N-A, and the tutorial will be there. So to get started, you can click Edit Site, and then you can um, go to the templates and the template parts in your site, and then see what kind of headers you have. This theme comes with a header, transparent header and a header centered logo to create a new one you just do add new give it a title and then choose header and then create but i'm not going to start from scratch i'm just going to edit the header that they give us so header and here are the um here it is in the gutenberg page editor i'm going to prefer to do it from the front page because you can kind of see what it will look like a little better. So from here, if we look at the list view, you see we have header, group, and footer. So this is where the front page blocks exist, and this is where the header exists. To replace the one that you make yourself, you click the header, and then you just click replace, and you, the headers will appear under here. All right, so once we look at the anatomy of this header, You'll see it's all contained in one group and when you look at the settings for this group it has 30 pixels top 4% right 30 pixels bottom 4% left you can also give that group a background color which I'll choose one of the theme colors just to warm it up a little bit so it's not so um, sterile and white just give it a little warmth and then when, once we drill down on this group block, you'll see it's created with three columns. So the next block is a three column block here. And when we look at the first column, it contains the site title. If I add another uh, block to it, like the logo, you can click that and create um, and in, insert your logo. If you don't have one yet but if I click the site title and now I'll remove that okay next column we have the navigation uh, block if you click the top level of the navigation block and you click the plus you can add another page to it start typing the page like um, here's the sample page and then if you want to do like a sub menu, you click the little uh, add sub menu icon. And then we would start with typing in the next page down below, but it's covered up. There we go. Test. I'll just use this one here. And you can get to these by just clicking over here on the list view too. So, you know. If you can't get at it, then you could click here and then click the plus here. Also click here and get some more information here. You can also duplicate them by just clicking this page and then the three dots duplicate. And then that'll, and then you can go ahead and change the link here. Hit the pencil, add the link there. So that's how we would do that. I'm going to go ahead and remove that. All right. So that's your nav block. And then in the next column, we have the social icons block. And then once you add that, if you click the top level of that, hit the plus, WordPress. All right. Add, a, um, add an address to that. And that's how you would go through your social icons. Um, the percentages of these three columns, you can see on the side uh, over here on the right side. 
This one, the logo one is 25%, the nav block 50%, the column, and the column for the social icons is 25%. Also note in under the advanced tab, depending on whether your theme developer uh, helped you out or not, but this social icons column will disappear on mobile. And that's because they did some more CSS and then added this class to um, this column. So if you were making it on your own and you wanted your um, column to disappear, you would go to the original header and find out what the class was called. And then you would add the class to, to the column on your new header as well. So that's something to keep in mind um, if you want to duplicate some of the behavior that your theme does, but you want to make your own from scratch. You need to look at some of the additional classes added to the column and the group. So like if you look at the group and then we go down to advanced, there's no additional class, but if there was an additional class, then you would add that to your own. Um, also keep in mind there are display conditions here. So if you want to do, uh, you know, based on hide on desktop, hide on tablet, hide on mobile, you could do that as well from the column level instead of adding the CSS. All right, so that's pretty much it for the header. Um, like I said, this uh, this theme really has a lot to offer. I really like it as a starting point. Go ahead and click Save. It's going to save the um, the header for you. And then let's check it out under the uh, Visit Site. Yeah, you see the changes have taken place. It's still going to do um, a lot of the theme's original uh, formatting is really nice. So kept that. And yeah, stick around, check out the uh, video description for more uh, full site editing stuff. And um, thanks for watching.